Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I want to talk about adding haze to an image in Capture One. So a while ago I did a video showing you how to do dehaze in Capture One and it was one of my most popular Capture One videos but since then I've had um, quite a few requests from viewers and readers as to how to do the opposite. So instead of removing haze, how to add haze. So to start off with, what we need to do is add a new layer, um, and this is quite important. So start off and go new, filled adjustment layer, and make sure it's a filled adjustment layer. So the next thing you want to do is, um, I have saved a style with all the different effects on it um, that you need to use for this, and I will make that available, and the link will be in the description below. So to apply this to your layer, just right click on the layer and go, Apply adjustment from and then user styles and in this case it's called this one that I have is called if you can find it haze 2 okay now we have a bit more to do to this yet uh, obviously this is <laughs> way too much um, but before I get to that I just wanted to quickly kind of run through um, how I created this and uh, this the adjustments that I'm using so I basically have the contrast turned right down uh, the brightness turned right up um, I've reduced the saturation a bit and I've also brought the highlights and shadows up a little bit on curves I've created this kind of curve here on the luma curves um, and it's important to use the luma not the RGB curve for this and then the other thing I've done is I have a negative 100 on clarity and I have this set to neutral um, but as I said, I have this saved as a style and I will make that available um, the link will be in the description below and also on my website I have um, full numerical details for all this as well. Okay, so anyway, let's continue So straight away you can see that's way too much, but it's like uh, what would be the most extreme version of it um, But there's a couple more things that we need to do first to make this work and the first thing is to click on the luma range tool and what we want to do is we want to key it to more to the dark areas and kind of still preserve some of the highlights. So drag the top slider down to just about the middle area. And then we want the bottom one up full. And then on down here in radius and sensitivity, we want to turn the radius up full. So this will give it, this will just kind of smooth off the mask a bit. And then hit apply. And again, that's still way too much, but now you can control it. Uh, with the opacity slider so you now have basically a single slider to control the amount of haze or fog in your image so we can go to something about there and that will kind of give us a nice foggy image but we can take this further as well um, and to make this more realistic more like actual fog you can actually use a gradient now to control the fall off as well um, and you can also paint in as well so in this example let me just what I want to do is kind of we, we don't want it too close to your kind of standing position because in real life, if it was fog, it would be falling away. So if we do something like this and drag it up. And if you wanted to, you could kind of paint in some of the other areas as well. Um, so for example, uh, if I go to the erase tool because we want to actually erase the mask and I'm just going to right click here to bring up the settings and I'm going to turn the flow right down because you want to be able to just paint this on quite um, quite softly and kind of build it up in layers so I'm going to turn the opacity down as well okay and then I can just very gently okay as soon as you start to paint it'll ask you to want to rasterize the mask you click OK and then just we can kind of just slowly build this up and kind of just remove some of the edges And again, I'm just kind of doing this roughly, just to kind of give you an idea of kind of the technique for this. And if you go too far, you can just switch back to a brush over here. And again, just make sure your flow and opacity is quite low, and then just bring slowly back in. And you can kind of play around with this till you get something more realistic. And then, obviously, I haven't done anything else to this image, so you can kind of build up with effects as well. So to give you an, uh, an idea, here's one I made earlier. So you can see... We have quite a realistic fog and um, what I've done is on the top layer I just kind of created a, a vignette around the edges to make it more realistic and then here's our fog layer so we can turn that off and again you can control this so we can control the amount of fog like so 
And that is pretty much how you do it. Um, it's quite straightforward. Uh, so as I said, I will make the style available in the description below. Um, so let me give you another couple of examples. Uh, I'll show you a few more things that we can do. So again, here is another image. And in this case, we want to say have kind of fog off at the background here. So again, same procedure. Start by go new field adjustment layer. Okay, and always make sure it's a filled adjustment layer. Um, we can tweak the mask later, as we did in the previous example. Okay, and again, apply adjustments from user styles and haze two. Okay, and again, limit range six. So bring it down to about the middle point and up with your bottom slider and increase the radius and hit apply so again we just lower the amount here okay and once again we can use the gradient to kind of have a fall off so it's kind of heading off into the distance like so and now another trick i did here with this one is if i go back to my luma range again um we want to maybe have it so that some of the darker branches in the foreground are coming back in. And you can do this quite simply by just tweaking the bottom levels here. So something like this. And maybe even so far as to go something like that. So that just brings a little bit of the foreground branch is back in. So now, if we just turn this on and off, you can see that's a reasonably realistic like haze in the distance or a foggy forest. And again, you could go into more detail on this and maybe add another layer, add some vignette and stuff, and uh, just to kind of make it more realistic. Uh, and you could possibly do kind of soften off the top as well. But um, so in this case, I'm just going to go new empty adjustment, no, new field adjustment layer. Okay, I'm just gonna use a radial vignette. we we'll drag this out. And we just drop down the exposure. I can just lower this down a bit, like so. So now we have our haze slider in the middle. Okay, so let's just do one more image. So in this case, we have a street scene and what we want to do is have the fog or haze off in the middle of the distance, but we want to kind of keep the uh, kind of closer buildings. Um, in this case, we want to kind of have the fog off in the distance and we want to kind of keep the closer buildings not fogged. I don't know what the, what the proper term for that would be, unfogged. <laughs> so again, go new field adjustment layer and Apply adjustments from user styles and our haze, haze two. Okay, and go to our limit range. And again, um, for my dehaze, uh, somebody kindly created a um, Apple script for doing this in one go. So hopefully, maybe somebody might be able to do that again for this. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply, and now we can just lower our opacity again until it's a bit more realistic. And in this case, what we're going to do is we want to erase the mask. So bring back our brush and we just kind of, we can actually increase the opacity here on the flow a bit and just sort of do something like this. Okay, and then lower the opacity. And if you're using a tablet, it's probably a bit easier. Um, but yeah, so again, if I before, after, and you can see we have our haze off into the distance. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, I have a written version of this as well, and that will be in the description below. On, and on that article, you will also find the link to download the style. Um, just one other thing I want to point out is. The examples I've shown are just kind of how to do this. They're not, I'm not saying that you should do this on any of these or that they need fog. Um, this is purely to demonstrate the technique. 
and it's as I said it's something that um, people have asked me for quite a few times now so that is how you do it okay so I hope you have found this useful if you do please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video okay see you next time